Shining a light on trauma. Uh, we're talking about sexual assault awareness month. That's what happens in the month of April. And let's go ahead and send things out to Gabrielle Parrish, who is live as she attended an event out there talking about the importance of raising awareness in our community. Gabrielle. I spoke with a woman here today, Monica, who tells me that the sexual assault awareness event is finally helping her speak out against the sexual abuse that she's endured throughout her life. This is Dana Taylor. She tells me she's a sexual assault survivor. The National Sexual Violence Resource Center says most men and women reported being victim of sexual violence by someone they knew. Unfortunately, this is something Dana tells me she's experienced. I was abused. I was abused from childhood. I was born into a religious commune. I've never not been abused. I was abused. I was gang raped. I was pedophiled. I was beaten and broken and neck and back by my father. Local leaders came together to make sure people get the message that sexual violence won't be tolerated. Today was the kickoff of the campaign for Sexual Assault Awareness Month. The Tucson Police Department's assistant chief says TPD officers are being trained on how best to help victims. We've been engaging them in conversations, trainings, and programs aimed at promoting active bystandership and coping with individual and collective traumas. Initiatives like the Sexual Assault Kit Initiative, we have deepened our understanding of survivors and, com and community needs. The Pima County Sheriff's Department tells me 22 sexual assaults were reported this year, compared to 55 reported last year. Today's event was organized by the Southern Arizona Center Against Sexual Assault, the very organization Dana credits with helping her get through hard times. And they have been the community that has aided me in help and in therapy and in recognition of the sexual assault and coercive assaults and financial abuse that I've been experiencing. Today, many people wore the color teal, which represents Sexual Assault Awareness Month. Here at Sacasa, they tell me that they've helped over 4,500 survivors since last year. Coming up at five, hear from a woman who tells her story of how she overcame being sexually abused by a Border Patrol agent. Reporting live from the West Side, I'm Gabrielle Parrish, News 4 Tucson.